Well, we've had many players join us in our fabulous Hertz car for an interview, but today we're joined by our first junior. It's Miss Donna Vekic from Croatia, who's playing her second round match shortly at Wimbledon. But just a word for what it's like for you to be back. You played your first ever Wimbledon last year as a junior. How is it one year on? I mean, last year was a very good experience. I was very nervous in the first round. So it's, it's nice to be back here. I'm playing even better than last year and hopefully have even better results. You still made it to the third round, I think, last year. So how much did you learn and what kind of experience did you pick up to help you back when you, you know, you've returned back this year? Well, it's, it's just um, just playing a Grand Slam. I mean, Grand Slams are my favourite tournaments, as probably they are for most of players. But um, it's just it's just different than any other tournament as well. It's just good experience. I'm sure it is. So you're here at round two. You've got there's a pretty tight field, I think, with the you're the eighth seed this year. There's some really good players, and we've heard a lot about Taylor Townsend. Who do you think your biggest competition is going to be this year? Well, I just don't like to think about that, just think match by match and I got in here by my WTA ranking and that's how I got seeded so it, it's good, I mean I just look forward to playing every match. And as for the weather we've got to talk about because you're supposed to be fifth on number eight court I think today but who knows what's going to happen with the weather, how does that affect you mentally when you're trying to prepare for a match just not knowing when you might go on? Well it's a bit tricky because you have to warm up, you have to be warm all the time but now that I'm fifth on I can just go home and relax for a day and just see how it goes. So I imagine as a, as a child growing up you must have watched Wimbledon a lot. What did it mean to you to come to play at Wimbledon for the first ever time last year? Um, I remember uh, watching Sharapova win it when she was 17 and I always kind of wanted to do that myself and hopefully one day I definitely will. Oh, we hope so. Well you're 16, you've just had a birthday I think last week. You were already over here at Wimbledon, how did you celebrate? It was good. We, I went with some friends to Wimbledon Village and, you know, I couldn't party too much because, as you know, before Wimbledon, just got to focus. But interestingly, from Croatia, but you actually spend a lot of your time over in London these days, don't you? Well, yeah, I, I've been training here for about four years with David Felgate and, you know, he's, I like him very much. He's a great coach and we have a good relationship. Oh, it's nice to know that you're over in Europe. But so, talking about, in London, should I say, talking about your career, you had a great season last year. You won the Croatian Junior Championships. Just how much does something like that prove to yourself that you're ready to make the next step? Yeah, it, that always means uh, a lot to me, winning the nationals. And, you know, but um, I like to be focused on my WTA rankings. And, you know, that's, that's really my main goal, be to be number one WTA, not, not juniors. Oh, and so you've played also already Fed Cup, haven't you? You see, tennis so often can be an individual sport or you can play doubles, but how nice was it to take part in a team event? I mean, it's, it's just a tournament like no other. I mean, Grand Slam's a different story and then you have Fed Cup. I mean, it was a really good atmosphere and I hope to play it next year as well. Who's the most challenging country, do you think, to play in Fed Cup? <laughs> Probably Russia. <laughs> They do have good tennis players. Yeah. So talking about your game, I think you've got a, a big, powerful serve, but you still try and, you know, you're still a bit of a finesse player. So how would you comment on the ladies' game today, I suppose? It, there's a lot of powerful big hitters out there, but it's still nice to be able to finesse shots where you can. Um, yeah, I mean, it's today's game and comparing to about 10 years' game, it's just so much different. And, you know, players are fitter, better, stronger. And you just you just have to work on your physical strength and just improve there, I think. How much of the championships this year have you been watching already of the main draw? Yeah, a lot. I mean, I think Nadal's upset. I mean, I watched that match and I have to say the guy played really well and he just deserved it to win. Deserved to win. Who do you look up to in the... We saw Maria Sharapova also go out yesterday, which was perhaps a shock exit for her. Who do you look up to in the women's game and who's inspired you in your career? Well, I don't really have any idols, but, I mean, there's a few girls that um, have similar game to me, probably like a mixture between Sharapova and Wozniacki, I think. Oh, well, it was sad to see Wozniacki go out first yeah. round this time. But So let's get to know you a little bit away from tennis. If you're... If you're not training and you're not practicing and you're not playing a tournament, what does Donna get up to? Donna gets up to just hanging out with friends. I mean, nothing special, just, you know, chilling, movies sometimes. How do you find the travel? Are you, you know, you're only 16. Is it something you've been prepared for for a while or is it something you've come quite accustomed to now? Well, it's been going on for a few years now. I mean, it's, it's not easy, but, you know, I chose this life and it, it, all the sacrifices that come with it. 
favourite tournament to play at? Definitely Wimbledon. Really? Yeah. What's your best thing about Wimbledon? Well, it's just I, I like London very much, so I just like spending time here as well. And you know, it's, it's definitely the slam. I suppose this is more of a home-ish tournament for you because you've still got your base over in Chiswick, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Chiswick ish with David. <laughs> well, anyway, best of luck this year. We'll be following you. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us.